Freddy Fro says, as a huge fan of video games, I love talking about them too. Unfortunately, throughout my life, I've been on the receiving end of snide or mocking comments from people just because of my favorite interest, the classic yucking of my yum. Uh, Freddy Fro, you know I feel the same way, my friend. And if anything, I feel it more as life goes on about a whole bunch of things. So I am with you. I, I feel it, but I'm glad we're here for you. This podcast has had such a strong impact on me because at times, especially when I was younger and less confident, it was my hobby haven. It was sometimes the one place I could look forward to each week, knowing that I could relax and would be welcomed and embraced. This, you're going to make me cry. This is exactly what I think about all the time. And I genuinely believe this feeling and warmth that you and the podcast crew have fostered is a reason it's one of my core values. I try to always encourage people to share their interests and never downplay them. The impact of this podcast has legitimately led to fantastic conversations and stronger friendships over the years. And I thank you guys for it. Happy 900th episode. And here's to many more. You're making me choked up. That's why I talk the way I do. That's why I feel it. My brain knows it's like every week I'll have, I don't want to say a breakdown, but I'll get upset, not mad, but like sad or disappointed. And like it happened when we went to go see the Marvels. When I came out of the Marvels, I couldn't even talk to you because I was too choked up about it. And then we talked about it on the way home because of the movie or it was that bad. Yeah. No, just about <laughs> um, the uh, we really liked the movie, but it was just so sad to me because I knew there's plenty uh, like. Uh, oh, I said I was going to talk about this last week. On this Whoa, week's show. Focus. Oh my gosh, focus. this picture is amazing. I know, I was looking at that one. Uh, uh, there's a podcast picture, or uh, there's a picture in the Discord of Nikki Hill, myself, John the Savage, Lube, mm -hmm. uh, and Reggie hanging out at the Nintendo World mm -hmm. Store, as it was called back then. And that was literally just a couple days after they announced the name that's Wii, when and we I made were my Wii out, shirt. And we, we left the Nintendo World Store with Reggie, and that's where he told us his body was ready. That's right. And boy, did said, we take advantage, gentlemen! My body is my ready. My body is ready. And and you were like, I got it. I got it on. Rec I got What's it recorded with you. I got it on record. So here's what I was gonna say. I'll make it make more sense. We saw the Marvels. We both really enjoyed it. As we were leaving, I was very emotional about it because a I enjoyed it, but b I was both really happy and really sad. I was sad because I know there are people or I knew there were people who would not go see this movie because of what I would deem horrible reasons. A, a all female uh, lead cast. B, uh, a black woman in a lead role. C, a young kid, a uh, Muslim girl in a lead role. Um, and uh, this is not just me like, um, saying this stuff i unfortunately because i'm always researching things i love i do see comments from people um and they were all saying these things as reasons why they hoped the movie failed or they were happy the movie was not doing well and failing um and it's it's disappointing um if you're out of the mcu because you feel the quality is dropped that's fine if you're out of the MCU because you were done with Endgame, that's fine. If you're out of the MCU because you have constructive criticisms, that's fine. I really still love it. Those things, it makes me sad to hear those things, but I'm not mad or upset. Just, you know, I'm like, oh, I like this thing so much and other people don't. That's fine. But, you know, the women thing and the woke thing and all like that just makes me really sad. And when we were leaving the theater, I was sad about that because on the complete flip side of things, our audience that was there was predominantly women predominantly indian women and there Perhaps was that was the most a, a good amount of black women in there too and lots of young girls it was really nice to see that audience coming into the theater and everybody everybody yeah. seemed like really happy like really like it was just yeah. it was great because you know they were getting to see something that spoke to them on the screen that they don't usually get to see in a whole bunch of ways so it made me happy and sad, but that's why I got emotional. But yes, I get that kind of emotional probably on a weekly basis. So nothing new. So I hear you, Freddie Fro. I'm happy we're here for you. And I'm happy we make you feel like you can be your authentic self. 